Early voting is underway and more popular than ever, it seems, in many states. Both major nominees want those people settled on their side. One America's Emily Miller has our story from Washington. More Americans are voting early this year than ever before. 25 million votes cast so far. And Republicans say the numbers look good for Donald Trump. Show up early and vote. Show up early. You know, the lines are incredible. Trump is making sure that his supporters, who can vote early, do so. Hillary Clinton is personally going to early voting sites in battleground states to put on the pressure because it's more important for her. Democrats show up early, they cast their ballot, it's banked, and they don't show up on election day. Whereas Republicans show up on election day, that's where Republicans come home. The GOP is working to close the gap going into election day. And the results bode well for Trump. You're seeing this margin close because one, you have enthusiasm on the Republican side where that is lacking on the Democratic side. Two, there's also been this get out the vote effort that is much more substantial than it has been in past years. While 37 states have early voting, both parties are looking at results of the swing states that register by party and vote early or absentee in person for insights into the final results. These are Maine, Virginia, North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida on the East Coast. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Ohio, Indiana, and Iowa in the Midwest. And Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico, and Arizona in the West. We're way up in Florida. I shouldn't say that because I want you to go vote. Okay, ready? We're going to pretend we're down. We're down. Pretend, right? In Florida, there has been a massive surge in early voting and absentee this year, and Republicans hold a slight lead in total ballots cast so far, according to RNC data. In North Carolina, Republicans are outperforming where they were in 2012. And in Iowa, Democrats are struggling from lack of enthusiasm with less ballots cast so far than four years ago. So voters are outcasting their ballot for the individual who they believe will get this country back on track, and that's Mr. Trump. It's expected that 40 percent of all Americans will cast their ballot early this year. But if you're one of those waiting for Election Day, keep in mind, it's this Tuesday, November 8th. Emily Miller, One America News, Washington.